A D.C. District Court judge today ordered the deposition of Hillary Clinton in a judicial watch lawsuit. The former Secretary of State will have to answer questions under oath about her emails and Benghazi attack documents. Judge Royce Lamberth stated the following in his ruling, quote, The State Department has thus failed to persuade the court that all of Secretary Clinton's recoverable emails have been located. This is unacceptable. Joining us tonight, Tom Fitton, president of Judicial Watch. And Tom, congratulations on this ruling. And, uh, and get your thoughts about where this goes now. This is not the first time that a judge has said proceed. Uh, it is it's striking that it's in a D.C. federal court, uh, district court. Yes, and it's over the objections of the Justice Department and the State Department. They were in court in December against us on this very issue, trying to shut the inquiry down. We got one, one or two attorneys on our side. I'm sitting there. On the other side are six attorneys with the government and four lawyers for Hillary Clinton and her aides. And uh, thankfully, the judge uh, over, overruled the objections to further questioning here because we have had more evidence come out as a result of discovery. In this case, this is the case, by the way, Lou, that broke open the Clinton email scandal way back in 2015. Right. It's about Benghazi talking points. And, you know, the judge wants to know what was Hillary Clinton thinking when she was using this system uh, as it relates to the Freedom of Information Act. He wants to know about whether there are document issues related to Benghazi. And uh, her top aide, Cheryl Mills, also has to be questioned. He also authorized us a subpo to subpoena Google because there's this issue about whether one of her uh, uh, email aides or vendors had sent all of her emails to a Google account. So uh, this is a broadening inquiry. Uh, it's limited in scope. We can't get to ask every question under the, under the, uh, under the sun we might want to. Uh, but it's remarkable that, A, the Justice Department and State Department opposed this. The State the, Department the, and the Justice Department. Yeah, they what, were all in there yelling about it. Yep. Uh, all, me, at, at every 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 effort we made to get more answers, they've opposed. Uh, on so, what grounds, if I may inquire? I mean, I hate to seem stunned, but to see this Justice Department again trying to shut down an inquiry uh, into a matter that is far from settled, and certainly in the view of the public, uh, is remarkable. Well, they suggested the extraordinary circumstances necessary for discovery and questioning witnesses under oath hadn't been met by the Clinton email scandal. They didn't think it was serious enough. They thought all the questions had been answered, and obviously the court disagreed. We're getting more testimony showing that there was, we, for instance, we just got a Benghazi email okay. showing that they had a Benghazi email for years that they're holding back. And that if it had been disclosed, we'd have been a, the whole email scandal would have been exposed years ago. And then the FBI and State Department are dribbling out more Clinton emails. The judge is upset with the way this has been handled by the State Department and the Justice Department. And he thinks Hillary Clinton can provide more information because she has answered questions under oath, but in writing to us. And for the judge's point of view, that hasn't been sufficient. And we should be able to question her directly. Our attorneys will. Uh, and follow up directly with her in person. So this is a straightforward case in many respects. Mm -hmm. What's remarkable is the obstruction we've been facing from um, this administration. Uh, the president said when he, I tweeted about this um, uh, from one of our last appearances, he said it was a disgrace yeah. that the Justice Department was still defending uh, Hillary Clinton. And, and it, we'll see what happens next. We have to get it done within 75 days, Lou. Well, uh, good luck, and the country desperately, desperately uh, needs to know the answers to the questions you're going to pose, uh, and uh, and and good for Judge Lambert uh, for standing up for justice of all things. Uh, let me turn to Lindsey Graham, congratulating Joe and Jill Biden on their South Carolina victory, uh, and he still still has not done anything about investigating. The Bidens, uh, Burisma, the entire Ukrainian uh, quagmire. Why not? I don't know why not. And this is why we have Judicial Watch, because this is the work we do, because we don't rely on Senate, the Senate or Congress. The Senate's designed to suppress strong investigations. And unfortunately, the leadership of the Republican Party doesn't want to change the rules to allow them to more easily uh, bring in witnesses under oath. 
It's not like the House where majority rules. They operate by consensus in the Senate, even though the law or the rules don't necessarily require that. And so as a result, nothing much ever gets done. And uh, this is why I think the president should appoint a special counsel independent of the Justice Department, the FBI, and frankly, Congress, and order full transparency by his agencies so the American people can see the information as opposed to relying on the hapless Congress or, in many ways, the uh, co-conspirators in Congress with the deep state to find out the truth. They're, they're usually involved either in covering it up mm -hmm. or they're uninterested in finding it or they really don't know what to do. Well, Tom, I have to say, I, I, I support your idea of a special counsel uh, because of, I share, uh, as you know, uh, Judicial Watch's commitment to the public's right to know. But I also have to admit that there is a small, petty, uh, insignificant particle of pettiness in me that would like to see the delicious moment at which the president uh, seeks a, a special counsel on someone else. Uh, it would be uh, somewhat ironic justice, if you will. Tom Fitton, thank you so much. Appreciate You're welcome. It, as always.